six guns DayZ players should be using in DayZ. And if you guys haven't already, make sure to join my Discord. The link to my Discord is going to be in the description. So if you guys do join my Discord, thank you so much. And make sure to like and subscribe because I do post DayZ content every single week. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. The first weapon is going to be the Deagle. So the Deagle comes in two colors, silver and gold. The Deagle can take a pistol suppressor and I believe it can also take a bottle suppressor and you can also put a handgun scope on it which the handgun scope is only for the Deagle and then it has one mag that you can fit nine bullets into. The Deagle is fairly common and so is the bullets that it needs which is 357. I usually find my Deagles in towns and cities. The Deagle is a very good pistol to have. The next weapon is going to be the M4A1. Now the M4A1 has multiple stocks and hand guards that you can fit on the gun. And you can also put a ghillie wrap on it. And you can also put a flashlight suppressor and a bayonet on it. So the M4A1 has multiple mags. It has a 10, 20, 30, 40, and a 60. And you can also put multiple sights on the M4. And on official, you can only get M4A1s at toxic zones but this gun is a very good gun to have like this is probably my favorite gun on daisy besides the blades and this gun also doesn't have much recoil but i don't really use any sights for my assault rifles i literally only use iron sights this gun is a beast. The next gun is going to be the blaze. Now you can put a ghillie wrap on the blaze and you can also put a hunting scope on the blaze. You cannot put any suppressors on the blaze sadly. So the blaze has single fire and it also has double shot. So if you have your blaze on double shot, this gun can be extremely deadly. So in my opinion, I think the blaze is really good, but honestly the VSD is right up there with it. This gun also takes 308 and the iron sight on the blaze is pretty good too. The next gun is going to be the LAR. So you can put a ghillie wrap on the LAR, a sight, and a suppressor. And the LAR only has one mag, which is a 20 round mag. And this gun also takes 308. And just to let you guys know, you can only put a bottled suppressor on the LAR. And this gun only spawns at helicopter crashes on official. But this gun does have a decent amount of recoil, so you just gotta get used to it. The next gun is going to be the KAM. Now you can put multiple handguards on it and stop. Talks. And you can also put a ghillie wrap on it. And you can also put a whole bunch of different sides on it. And also a flashlight and suppressor and even a bayonet. So the KAM has a 30 round mag and it also has a 75 round mag. The KAM takes 76 2 times 39. KAM spawn at toxic zone. This gun also has a decent amount of recoil. So the very last gun is going to be the AURAX. So this gun can take a ghillie wrap, a suppressor, suppressor, sights, and a flashlight. This gun takes 556 by 45. So there is a 30 round mag for this gun, but you can also use M4 mags, which is honestly pretty useful. And you can also put multiple different sights on this gun. And this gun only spawns at helicopter crashes and it might spawn at toxic zones too. And this gun also doesn't have much recoil. And I really like the iron sight on this gun too. So if you guys do find these guns while playing DayZ, I would really recommend picking them up. And if you guys do have any questions about this video, make sure to drop that in the comment section. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate you guys for stopping by. Everybody take it easy. Everybody be safe. And I'll see you guys in the next Daisy video. Peace. Hey, they say I got next, nigga. I got now. I flooded my